Hey guys, welcome to the session. In this session, we will going to add a navigation controller to our table view. And we also see that how we can perform an action on, a, on the click of a table row. Let's uh, try implementing uh, this on our old project. And this project is created on in our last video. Let's get started by adding a navigation controller to to the storyboard here so there are two different approaches uh, by which you can add a navigation controller to it uh, either by uh, searching a navigation control from the object uh, object library or just by selecting a view controller from the storyboard and then click on editor go to embed in and then selecting the navigation controller from here so it will going to add a navigation controller for your uh, view controller now we're going to add one more view controller here so that on the click of on click of a row we can we will going to move uh, move to that controller so add it okay so here it is uh, now now we're going to drag and drop it here and select show so this is now we're going to set an identifier for this so it's and show details now we're going to create one more file for this controller go and create a new file then select cocoa touch okay and then search for view controller here so we're going to create a view controller file which will be the subclass of ui controller and uh, name it as contact detail contact detail controller and then press next okay create so the new file is added now I'm going to assign this file to that view controller. So paste it here. So there is. Now we're going to add an image view to that view controller. Drag and keep it height and width equal so we'll make it 290 here and 290 190 290 290 here i think it's too uh, big so we can make it as a 250 so it will be this will be fine okay so here it is okay now we're going to add a label here okay and okay change its font size make it large okay, style bold and increase its font size here and align it to the center of the screen it's um by this name now okay add a label here okay and this is for the point number uh change the font color here so change the text color here make it green make it bold or can size so we are done okay so so we are done with this okay so we are done with this now we're going to connect uh, this component uh, this UI component uh, with with the contact detail view controller so to do that click on the assistant editor it will going to open a file associated with this controller 
okay it's finding so here you go and select uh, automatic so this is our view controller now i'm going to add uh, create an ip outlet so that we can uh, update the detail for this now create con image profile image img okay a similar way okay we're going to add an i got it for image okay. this is in the similar way we're going to add uh, create an IP applet for our name, name, LVL. Now for the phone number, phone, LVL. Phone, LVL, connect. So, it says, now I'm going to remove this, you don't need that. Okay. And now we're going to create one variable, variable contact. And this will be going to use to pass our data. So if we Through this variable, we're going to get a uh, contact detail from our previous view controller. And now we're going to assign this, or you can set it as this. Now we need to assign this to our view controller. That is, if let contact equals to, okay, contact, make it serve. Okay, so I'll contact. If it is not null, then we're going to set this self dot profile dot img image equals to contact dot image. This then for this so self dot name label dot text go to contact dot name self dot phone table dot text dot phone label dot sorry contact contact dot name so so this is it so we are done with our contact detail controller file. Now we're going to add delegates here. Okay. So I'm going to add make use of one delegate. So and this delegate would be dead selector. Okay, just select table view dead select row this one we're going to make use of this delegate if we click on if we click on any of any row from this contact list then this delegate will going to be called so when this delegate will get executed we're going to perform we're going to perform okay perform segue okay and here we're going to pass our identifier and then here we're going to pass it so so let's uh, see that what identifier we're going to use use it here so if you remember we set an identifier for this segue so we're going to use that Please don't use uh, the 
this segue we're going to make use of this segue because we are navigating from this controller to this controller by using this so we're going to yes so it will perform a uh, navigation so, so here it is so this will perform navigation for this by uh, identifying this identifier okay now we're going to call or or we can say that override override prepare function okay and in this method we're going to get the controller destination controller okay set green dot destination and then we're going to type cast create contact detail controller okay and then if this destination is the contact detail controller then we're going to pass an object contact object here okay so at contact list and now we need an index for this and to do that call table view contact list dot index of selected we're going to see the okay index path for selected row we're going to select this and then for row so by this we are going to get the get the index for the uh, selected row and then we're going to get the, uh, the the contact object for that row so in this way you can do that okay let's okay add an, an optional to this so this is it now we're going to run let's see that how it works okay here now it's compiling Okay, the app, the app is installed now. Okay. So here it is. Now, if you click on terminal, then you can see that it's going to show a detail here. But the there is an uh, issue here. Instead of phone number, we are seeing our name. Let's see where we did a mistake okay so here this is so let's write phone here let's try it let's see by running it again so this is it click on Russian so this is how you can add an action to a row of your table view so this is it in next video we are going to uh, see that how we can make a call by clicking on the phone number so thanks for watching this video